Hey. 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 YouTube, we're gonna go in five seconds. Well, we'll we'll catch up. Make sure we get we're this started. up. One thousand, five, four, three, two, one. Go, YouTube. Come on. <laughs> hey. Let me tell you a story about three little girls that learned a lot about sledding on one given weekend. It was in Michigan and we had about a foot of fresh powder. It was the winter of 2021, and the girls were trying to sled down the hill, and their appetite for speed and going fast, they quickly learned that what goes down must come back up to do that again, and it was a whole lot of work. Well, Ashlyn, her uncle had his pickup truck there, and he said, Hey, you know what? We have 910 foot-pounds of torque right here. Do you guys want to just use the Silverado and get pulled around the farm? And after struggling time and time again to get to the top of the hill, they said, You know what? We've never done anything like it. But we're willing to give it a try because this is too difficult. Can you go a little bit faster. Can you go a little faster, please? <laughs> well, had a lot of snow and it was kind of hard to find a crew. We got a scab crew today. Hello. I, I think I think they're misusing Boffman tile. I think we're going to have to give a disclaimer. We cannot guarantee if you're going to use your six inch solid Boffman tile like this, we cannot guarantee or, or make any warranties, okay? But I will say this, we've pulled it a mile and a half and hit a bunch of big bumps and the thing is dent free and it's perfect for sledding. All right, Hello, you guys ready? Yeah! yeah. I'm ready for this YouTube! All right. We're ready! YouTube. YouTube. All right. So as the three little girls learned how to position their body weight and drag their hands to manipulate the way the sled moved, they were able to steer around bumps and the Boffman tile worked great for smoothing out the course. It got smoother and smoother and smoother as the day went on, but it didn't start out that way. To be great at anything, you have to be willing to fail. You have to be willing to fall off. You have to be willing to find the strength to somehow pick yourself back up. And all day long, all weekend long, that's what the three little girls did. They kept on getting better and better and they kept going faster and faster. And with speed, comes responsibility as they learned and they got more and more organized they would signal to one another tell uncle bob to go faster or slower oh and tell him to stop the body, oh. please check this video on the red red train give it a half. Difficulty! <laughs>
made it up. They learned it was those scary moments at times that taught you the important things that you needed to know so that you could have so much fun, you can maximize the amount of fun that you have while you're sledding and do it safely. And it's getting through those moments together that makes you a team. So what would your life be without those epic fails? I would think boring. If you do not dare to challenge yourself at anything that you do, everything that you do, if you don't put your heart into it and challenge yourself, how can you ever expect to be good at anything? So on this day, there were many lessons learned, but one of the most important lessons learned was teamwork. So big ice chunks, there's bumps in our road. Yeah. Did we yeah. did we smooth it them out? No, they're no. Like a big chunk of ice. That was like big bumps. Can you show me where they're at? Game on. We were now a well-oiled machine. We knew where all the bad bumps were at. We knew exactly how to position our body weight. We had a spotter in the back. We had hand signals. And all this was organized and done by the three little girls. Their Uncle Bob let them work it out. And he just went along for the ride. It was a lot of fun growing with these three little girls and going through this experience, this life-changing experience where you learn all the key things about sledding and you come out of it with some epic stories. I didn't know what was going to happen. So now okay, so who... You, it was Ashley. Ashley had she it. She had it first. She had it. Your turn. Okay, so hang on to that. All right. Okay, let's get this. Party started. So you want me to go real slow the turn? Yes. Yes. You two, let's get this. We're gonna definitely make Mr. Buck, uh, Mr. Buck. Uh, we'll like have one minute. I'll be holding. Okay. Stand up. You're safe. Oh. Can't see. Fall deep. They're ready. <laughs> Just waiting. Come on. And we're moving. The three little girls had all this fun while respecting nature by not hurting the habitat that the animals in this area lived in. They left the habitat as they had found it. They left it unharmed. That explains all this. It's cold and they can't find, there's not a lot of food right now, I can tell you that. It's a lot of snow on the ground and Help me. they're hungry, so Help me. I feel I, I feel 
kind of bad for them, you know. So I bought 700 pounds of corn. Well, you don't want a steady diet of it because they need to eat a bunch of the natural foliage for the forbs so that their digestive system works properly. If they try to eat this all corn, it actually could be fatal. So we don't want that. But we give them just enough to help because it's, it's hard right Right now, it's really hard to find food, you know, with a foot of snow in the ground. The three little girls paid their respects to nature, fed the deer and the squirrels, and off they went again. They didn't drop any wrappers or anything like that. They knew to pick up any garbage they came across, even if it wasn't their own, and keep nature and keep land clean for those that come in after you've enjoyed it. As their snowy weekend starts to wind to a close they knew that the stories that they have for the rest of their lives and the special bond that these three little girls have just grew that much greater through the experiences that they all had through the epic fails to honing their snow sledding skills to the point to where they're now ready for olympic gold baby <laughs>